Here we have some of the uh, military equipment that was used against us at the demonstrations at the villages of Kusra and Kufa Kadum. This is what is used to uh, drive off peaceful demonstrations and those who come to defend their olive tree orchards against the settlers, the Zionist colonists who come to destroy them. Now, the numbers of these that are used uh, are uh, significant. For instance, this one here. Uh, the Hebrew lettering is inverted there. Here it is. This is a high velocity gas canister which shoots out a projectile at the front here, and this which previously had been filled with gunpowder, is left behind in the, uh, the mini cannons, basically, that the uh, Zionist military carries with uh, uh, about five rounds of this in a circular chamber, which shoot out one after the other. And the further markings here it seems to be made in Israel itself. So the soldiers basically carry as many of these as they can and then shoot them off against the demonstrators. You see, there's the ignition. Now at the demonstration that I was at, I could count about 30 of those. This here is a new device, which is a s sound grenade. You can see that uh, it has some markings here that I cannot read myself. and series number, this one as well. R, I, M, N, G or something. H, L, S, I, N, R, R, D. I think that's what those letters mean. C I S N I D T Oh E I six six four three zero. With those numbers one can tell where they were made, when they were made and who was making them. Yes. Now this one here is a hand-thrown gas grenade with a rubberized uh, cylinder which bounces along the ground and it has exit holes here which make it spin at the same time so it's rather unpredictable where it's going to be landing or bouncing to. The uh, initial ones, the high velocity ones, can go about 500 meters, you know, and they shoot out like missiles and they sound, what sh shoots out at the end of those things? Sounds like a it takes about that long to land. Now, in front are the rubber projectiles, which can cause bodily injuries. And they're like little cylinders. I'll pick one up so you can get the dimension of it.
Now there is a hole in one side where the uh, ignition is inserted to uh, project it out. These are like bullets, but uh, they project out this uh, rubber projectile instead of a, a metal bullet itself. The rubber is basically a bullet. Rubber bullets is why they were called. Now these here are the uh, Um, plastic coated metal balls which are projected at people as well and they can uh, if they hit a head you know they can kill in fact these can kill these killed uh, somebody the other day actually from 10 meters away it was shot into a person's face and his face was just destroyed his skull destroyed he died and in addition I don't n know. Uh, yes, this may be a live round that I found at Kusra. And uh, this is uh, one of the live rounds uh, that was uh, shot at that time, one of which um, killed uh, the father of seven children at Kusra on September 23rd, 2011, the day that uh, Mohammed Abbas was speaking at the United Nations General Assembly. Okay, so these are the items. I can't uh, bring them back to show you. So I'm bidding them for your benefit so that you know just what is being used against peaceful demonstrations here in Palestine. So, you know, if anybody tells you that the Palestinians are being violent, well, here, have a look for yourself.